Hello, my name's Eric Watkiss. Uh, I'm a volunteer at Hangar 42 Spitfire Visitor Centre. I'm a project manager of the Saving Amy Airspeed Oxford project and what we have behind us is the cockpit section of a Airspeed Oxford which was uh, found in Canada in 1990s and brought back to the UK. Nobody did anything with it until we uh, started our project eight years ago and we have now produced all the cockpit section to the original design drawings. It's been a labour of love throughout lockdown. Uh, people have been working in a cottage industry to restore this aircraft. The reason we are restoring this aircraft is that the famous aviatrix Amy Johnson, she flew from Blackpool Airport on the day that she lost her life. Uh, on January the 5th, 1941, she was flying from Presswick uh, down to RAF Kidlington. Uh, on the way, she stopped off at Blackpool Airport and spent the evening with her sister on Newton Drive in Blackpool. The next day, she took off in the aircraft in very poor weather flew over the top of the weather and was never seen alive again. The aircraft's wreckage was found in the Thames estuary, Hearn Bay, and a ship called HMS Hazelmere, part of an escort uh, deployment, was uh, in the area. Uh, they saw the aircraft in the water and the captain of the ship jumped overboard to render assistance to Amy. Unfortunately, she was washed to the rear of the ship and she was never seen again. So it was confirmed as being Amy's aircraft because there was a leather kid skin bag with Amy's flight log and her Christmas presents from her sister. So five years ago, uh, we got the remains of this aircraft. Uh, all the metal components come from an aircraft that was serial number EB518, which served with the Royal Canadian Air Force at North Battleford in Canada. It came in ISO containers in 1995 and was left in a barn in Fursk for many years. So we have taken it on now. Uh, the, the volunteers that are doing all this work are all doing it free of charge. All the funding that we get for this project is from public donations and we're very kindly looked after by Hangar 42 and we're given free accommodation. So the aim is for this cockpit section to be finished before Christmas uh, with an intention to start working on the wing section. The main out, uh, idea of this is to make a permanent memorial to Amy Johnson and all the Commonwealth crew who flew in this type of aircraft during World War II. So this Saturday we have a special open day where we've got special guests at Hangar 42 Spitfire Visitor Centre. Uh, we'll be open from 10 till 4 and we'll have Jane Priston who is a, an aficionado on Amy Johnson uh, and Jenny Lockyer who uh, will be doing a workshop making miniatures of Amy Johnson's record-breaking uh, Jason biplane. We're open from 10 till 4. Uh, if you look at our website uh, which will be uh, Limson Town Spitfire Ground Display Team, Hangar 42 uh, you can see the prices on there.